What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know him in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys a competitive dubs gameplay, two gameplays actually, from the same match. And it's going to, this is going to be a Q&A video that I was supposed to give you guys two months when I disappeared off the face of the planet. And uh, these two gameplays, uh, they're pretty good. Although, you know, I've, I've improved quite a bit since I actually got them. I got them like four days ago. We started playing dubs on the UMG side of things four days ago, I believe. And we are now 15-2. and two. We started off 2-2, two and two, and this is probably one of the games from around there. Uh, my shot to me isn't the greatest, but it's it's still a gameplay. It looks really good, but for me personally, I critique it and I see flaws. My game has gotten a lot better since then. Unfortunately, a lot of the gameplays since then have not recorded properly because my Elgato hates me and decides to record half the time and then half of the time of the half of the time that it records, if that makes sense, the clips are at like a quarter speed. And they're like these massive files that won't load into editing software. And then the sound gets way off. So it's really, really frustrating. I don't have all the really good gameplays. But yeah, we're 15-2 and two right now. We're actually shooting for trying to make it to playoffs, which start June 6th now. So that'll be really interesting. Hopefully things will work out. So let's jump into this Q&A. So first question is from XX. What do you think about PC gaming, COD, and FPS-wise? I don't know much about COD on the computer I know yeah I, I don't know much about COD on PC I don't really bother keeping up with it although FPS type games I love PC gaming uh, not, and not just FPS but FPS wise that's kinda where I actually started I started playing combat arms I played that for about a year I was really really good at it actually I got invited to several really high level clans some at the in the community world actually known clans uh, for zombies, there was a mode called Quarantine Regime. I was extremely good at that, uh, but you know I kind of fell off when my computer degraded. So it is what it is. Next thing is from James: websites and Twitter pages that you can find competitive tournaments on. Okay, so it's hard because some of them. Oh, and you also specified free tournaments there. Uh, it's hard because some of them aren't that great. I don't remember them all. Sometimes I just look for random ones and I don't remember the names. The one that sticks out in my mind is AwakenGaming.com. I know they have some free tournaments. They also, I think, have paid tournaments. So I would check them out. Next one, I'm skipping that. <laughs> some of you guys are really weird. Okay, EC McLovin asks, Hey, I'm really new to. I'm a really new competitive player, not a self advertisement. What are some tips for people like me? Okay, so you say you're really new, so you need to kind of figure out what you need to focus on. You need to evaluate yourself, and this can be difficult as a new player because you don't necessarily know. Things to look at are your communication skills, your teamwork skills, your gun skill, and... Uh... And then your your intelligence in a way I'm trying to I was trying to figure out how to word it exactly basically intelligence would be you know map awareness predicting your opponent things like that so I would watch some pro players to get an idea see how they're doing these things and how good their gun skill is and everything obviously you're not going to get there right away but you know try and take a look at that and try and copy what they're doing for now and then adapt your own stuff from them. Next question is, I'm probably going to totally mispronounce this, Hamza Arshad, I, I don't know if I'm saying that right, which pro team do you support, and if you had to nominate a pro player as MVP, who would it be? So, I support several pro teams, I actually pretty much su support all of them, in a way, I mean, there's some that I like more than others, but, of course, I support Optic over everybody else, because I'm an Optic fanboy, I love them, I've watched them since the beginning of MW3. So, yeah, they're definitely my favorite. And then, nominate a pro player as MVP. I can't even do it. There's too many pros that are so good. Like, I mean, you know, there's, I, I, if I had, like, a category, like, best sniper, best sneaky player, best sub slayer, best AR slayer, then I could do it. But I, I just can't nominate one over all the others. Derek8837 asks, will you team scrim us? If you're on Xbox One, and if I get a full roster, then yes. 
OV, I'm a boss, asks, how do I find what role I am for my team? My favorite player is Clayster, and I play a lot like him. That probably means you're an AR Slayer, and then goalie for the Blitz game mode. However, I would experiment around. Um, you've kind of figured out how to figure out what role you are. You know, watch the pro, pro players, see how they play, and compare it to how you play. And then you can kind of figure your role out from there. Also, ask your teammates to kind of tell you, like, hey, do you... Th do you think I'm better as an OBJ player, better as a slayer, you know, things like that, and hopefully you'll be able to figure it out, or if you haven't already, because I mean, it's been like a month. <laughs> uh, let's see, I don't know how to answer that one, I'm sorry, and then I'm skipping that one, and then Waffle Project asks, oh, never mind, uh, I've already answered that. Hate HD asks, if you had to change your organization name Flight, what would you change it to and why? I am awful with names, with coming up with names. Uh, if I had to, I would change it to Corn Club, and that is because we have an inside joke with Corn, and our dub, and our Dubs team right now is Corn Club. It's just kind of an inside thing. It's been there since uh, Levi joined the team a while back. You know, like eight, nine, ten, whatever months ago. So yeah, that's why it's it's probably really retarded to most of you guys, but you know that's what I would change it to. Um, let's see. W Whammy asks if you're getting spawn trapped in Blitz or Dom, it's really hard to put, push out as an AR because you're getting rushed by subs. Do you take out a sub and get map control again, and then get your AR back, or do you keep your AR? So this is called turtling, and that's when you are you know pushed in your spawn. Also, of course, like you said, spawn trapped as well. You need to keep your AR out as long as, you know, there's one AR. I mean, starting at maps, you need four subs, so it just kind of depends on what map you're playing. But you need your AR to be able to get those picks off of head glitches that the enemy team is set up on for the spawn trap. Because your subs need to push out, but your AR player typically has to get those really hard head glitch picks. Sometimes your subs can do it, but that's kind of the AR's job in this situation so it's rough but you got to do it um, also make sure you're organizing with your subs for an, a good push out and hopefully that'll help uh, next thing is tuxedo 25 also I play a lot of, like eights or search tourneys and stuff to try and make my individual skill better but I don't see any improvements should I just give up on cod um, I would not just give up on cod I would look at you need to figure out why you're not seeing any improvements you know, are you being too hard on yourself? Is it because you're not playing people challenging enough? Is it because of your teammates? Uh, you know, look at that. And also, you know, I just want to point out that if you do decide to give up on COD, that doesn't mean you have to give up on gaming. Maybe you could go into competitive for another game. I hope everything works out for you, though. Let me check how much time we got left here. Okay. So, Lovato65 asks, you or says, you're a very impressive player. Who do you try and craft your game after, and how did you study their play and keep up the great work? So, to be completely honest, up until recently, I did not necessarily study how pros played. I, I really didn't. What I did for a long, long time is I just watched events, and I just kind of memorized things as I went, and some things got dropped, other things I remembered... And, you know, I spend a lot of time watching a lot of players that do not fit my role at all. And it wasn't a strategy of mine to just be a more well-rounded player. I just liked them better. I liked watching their gameplays more. But recently, I have buckled down and started, you know, really focusing on it. Uh, for MLG Anaheim, I'm taking a lot of notes. I took some notes over X Games. And I'm just looking for strategies, how people are playing, you know, different lines of sights if there's anything new, nade spots. You know, just whatever comes up, I'm just taking notes on it. That is how I'm studying their gameplays now. And right, oh, and I guess I have to say who I'm crafting it after. Probably Clayster. That's who I'm striving for right now. Crim6 would be a good influence as well. So that's kind of who I'm going for as far as my play style. Alright, Slayer of Stupid, which will improve ourselves more, um, I'm sorry, I'm reading this wrong. Uh, which will improve ourselves, Astros, Gaming Monitor, or Scuff Controllers? In order, I'm going to say Scuff Controllers, Astros, and then Gaming Monitor. However, I put Scuff Controller first with the, with the assumption that you have at least a halfway decent headset already. 
Otherwise, it's kind of iffy. I mean, the Astros and Scuff are both really, 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 really good. So they're pretty pretty much tied there. Uh, Andrew asked, what is the best sensitivity to play on if you're a sub player? And do you own a Scuff? Best sensitivity for pretty much everybody right now is a 3. That's what pretty much everybody's playing on. You will see some people go up higher. Again, sensitivity is really a personal preference. You can kind of get away with going higher because you're going to be in a lot of close range gun battles. And if I own a scuff, I do. It's a 360 one. It is broken. Um, I can kind of use it, but everything's being held together by tape. And my Xbox One scuff is being built right now. It hasn't even been sent in for testing yet, so yeah. Let's see. What is next? Big Head Gamer asks, when will you make a map-specific SND tips video? Uh, I kind of considered doing that, but I I don't know. I just kind of forgot about it, I guess, or didn't get around to it. I could definitely start doing that, though. It's just I've been trying to give more general tips because I'm trying to give tips for beginners and everything. But I could definitely make a, a map-specific one. It would take a little more organization, but I'll, I'll definitely consider it. Spanish B fam asks or wants me to explain game battles basically. So let's see. There's a lot to game battles. I mean, it's a site where you get on and you play competitive matches in an online setting and you compete for either ladder placings or for your personal rank or for money or for pro points because there's tournaments and then there's regular ladder play. It really, I can see how it is confusing. Um, it would, I could make like a 10, 20 minute video explaining game battles in depth, so I don't really know what all to say here, unfortunately. Um, I'm sure you can find some videos on it though, if you want to get into the depth of it. Next is Luke Thunberg. As an AR player, what are the best tips you can give on getting a laser accurate shot? So, first thing is control freaks. That's the first thing I'm thinking of. Second thing is lots and lots and lots of practice. Third thing is go into some private match games and double the, or make it a free for all and then put on radar and double the health of the bots and make sure you put them on veteran, of course. And that can help quite a bit. It makes you lock on a lot longer. I feel like it helps your aim quite a bit. Uh, another thing you can do, honestly, it's just, it's practice. It, it really is. That's that's what it comes down to. you got to focus. If you find yourself losing your gunfights more, you know, reevaluate, get yourself, okay, focus on the gun skill. Put that above everything else as you're trying to, de trying to develop your shot. Let's see how much time we got left again. Ooh, we're starting to get near the end. I'm probably, um, you know what, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys, Let's let me know in the comments if you want me to finish this Q and A because there's like at least twice as many questions left. I'm gonna do a couple more here, but let me know below if you guys want me to do another Q and A video off of these questions. Uh, all right, so Theon True Vanilla asks, "How long did it take you to get this many subs? And do you have any tips or tricks to help unknown YouTubers?" Okay, so it took me, I believe, somewhere between six and eight months to get to 3,000 subscribers. That's where I was at when I kind of took that break, or right around there. And then to help unknown YouTubers, okay, you need to utilize thumbnails. Even if you can't make them very good, you know, just try and make them stand out or hire somebody to do it or something. Second thing is you need the right equipment. You know, you need some sort of mic that isn't all disgusting I guess is the only word I can come up with right now also you need to have good quality gameplays at this point it's pretty much you know a given that you have to have a way to record in 1080p things of that nature and then you know just have an entertaining personality you need to be either funny informative a mixture something along those lines and I gotta check on time again because it really is getting close alright I'm that that is going to have to be the last question, guys. I will maybe continue this if you guys want me to. Let me know in the comments below. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.